name's Mickey Sanner and I'm really excited because it's dessert week and I love dessert. That's my favorite food group. And I'm really excited about this because I'm going to show you how to fool your family and friends by making this healthy lemon sugar cookie with a low fat strawberry cream cheese frosting. And I'm making it with Philadelphia, of course, one third less fat, Nufachel cream cheese. This cookie also has another secret ingredient. It's made with olive oil. Now, Paula, I know you use a lot of butter, but I'm gonna convince you that a delicious dessert can be made with olive oil and low-fat Philadelphia Nufachel cheese, and you won't even be able to tell the difference. In fact, you're gonna learn how to fool your family and friends with this delicious recipe, and they'll all be so surprised that it's actually good for them. How I feel is that why have a healthy dessert if it tastes like a healthy dessert. I love it when it tastes like junk food, but it's actually good for you. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this recipe, and I'm gonna show you some of the ingredients that are in it. We have two and three quarters cup flour, half a cup of olive oil, and the olive oil that I'm using is just from the store. It's pure olive oil. Often I like to use extra virgin, but there's so many varieties, and you can get so many different tastes that you still get the heart-healthy benefits if you use a pure olive oil that you can just get at your grocery store. Uh, we also have a tablespoon of, it's supposed to be a teaspoon, but I always add extra vanilla, and lemon juice, just the juice of one lemon, and the zest of two lemons, and I'm going to zest a lemon right in front of you. Only half a cup of sugar. A lot of sugar cookies have a lot more sugar, but you won't be missing it. I just use a little bit less. A cup of low-fat vanilla yogurt. And of course we have sprinkles to make them really beautiful, like these little babies right here. And we've got three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and one, two teaspoons of baking soda. We've also got an egg. This is for my chickens. I actually have chickens out there. Let's jump right in. And we're we? gonna start with, of course, our olive oil. And that's our half a cup. What's so fun about this is that you can just kind of put all the ingredients in at one time, just all the wet ingredients. And here's your yogurt. Put that right in there. Lemon juice. Tablespoon. That's fantastic. Just makes that aroma throughout the house. And we're going to put our egg in there. And it wouldn't be a sugar cookie without the sugar. That's just half a cup right there. And here's one, this is just one lemon right now, but I'm just gonna show you, I have this neat little gadget that I love to zest the lemon with. They've really made it easy, and I have loved kitchen gadgets, and this is just a fantastic thing because it just zests it really fast. It kind of shaves the top of the lemon. It turns out to be about a tablespoon and a half of lemon. So let's go ahead and blend that up. We'll turn that on. And we're gonna go ahead and just put all of our flour in at one time. That's a lot of flour. And let's hope it doesn't fly because it usually does. Okay, and this is our extra flour that we're gonna use for rolling. And we've got our salt and our baking soda. And we'll put that in there. And it makes it really fluffy. You're gonna love this cookie. The dough is mixed in really well, but you'll notice that it almost looks a little bit like a cookie dough or a cake dough, and that's okay. Now, we're gonna put our flour out. Let me move those over. We're gonna put our flour out, and you gotta use a lot of flour because you don't want it to stick. And one little trick that you can do is I put a lot of flour on my hands, and I just kinda use it to get these off the beater, because you wanna get every bit of dough. You don't wanna miss out on any of this. It's so delicious, you don't wanna waste any of it. And, and then you just, you can use a spatula or use your hands. I'm gonna use my hands because I put my spatula elsewhere. And you'll see that even though it's a loose dough, if you use that flour, you just kind of pull it out and just get it right there on the flour and just dump it right on top of that flour. And I like to form it up with my hands just a little bit. This is the fun part because you get to play a little bit in the dough. And you'll see it's getting a little bit thinner as we go along. Uh, if, you, if you make them any thicker, a quarter inch, a half inch, what's going to happen is it's going to look like a biscuit. And then you'll have to use it for biscuits and gravy, although it'll be a little bit sweet. 
So <laughs> there we go. But if you have any little hearts or bats for Halloween or anything else you want to do and use different colors, you can as you're frosting them. But we'll go ahead just to show you. And I put some nonstick olive oil cooking spray on this cookie sheet. Left. And just three to it. And I'll see you in just a minute when we get it all baked and we frost up our cookies. We're going to go ahead and make our low-fat strawberry cream cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese that is, frosting on sugar cookies. So we've got about four ounces right there of cream cheese. No need to soften it, but if it's softened, that's fine. And we've got our strawberry jam. Gives it a lot of color. Over there. And our vanilla. The more the better, remember that. And just a pinch of salt. That's all we need, just a pinch. Okay. And we're gonna just put a couple of cups of the powdered sugar in to start. Just so it doesn't fly everywhere because it absolutely will. We've done this more than once. Start to mix in, and we'll put the other half in, and we're going to frost these cookies, and you're going to love them. Beautiful pink color. It's not on fire, I promise. Okay, and we're going to put the rest of our, put the rest of our frosting together. Another two cups. to do that. There's just no way of preventing it, so just go with me on this. You just gotta trust me, it's gonna be delicious, I promise. And you won't even know it's healthy, that's what's so great about it. Oh, it looks beautiful. It's looking good. It's one thing when it tastes good, but it looks good, that's just a bonus. Oh, it's coming together very, very nicely. Strawberry low-fat Philadelphia cream cheese frosting, and it's going to look even better on this cookie. Okay, we've baked these for about 8 to 10 minutes, and they've cooled down, and they're just perfectly cool. You want to be really, really careful not to try to frost those when they're warm, because then the frosting will melt. So we're going to go ahead and just frost that and sprinkle them. You put as little or as much as you want. And just kind of turn with your spatula around your cookie. Just get a little swirl going there. And put some sprinkles on. My sprinkles right here. Just a little bit of sprinkles on the top. And voila, there's your cookie. Mmm, absolutely fantastic. Paula, you're going to love this. Everybody else got to make this recipe. You're going to love it. You won't even know that it's good for you. And who wants to eat healthy food if it's going to taste like healthy food? So I hope to hear from you soon. And Paula would love to make my sugar cookies with you. Have a great day. See ya. Bye.